It is 9.45 on this Saturday morning. Time for Imagine It. We have extreme scientist J.B. Pafford here. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. So what are we doing today? I know Halloween kind of, we're starting to get into that time, and I always think of slime and Halloween going It is. Here. It's a timeless classic, right? Yeah. Slime. So what I've done is I brought a few, maybe different things, hopefully different things that viewers might not have seen. Now, slime is really cool because you can do it with your kids, you can do it with your students in school. Okay. If you don't already have the supplies, they're really easy to come by. So what we're going to start off with is I am going to give you this solution. We have two different solutions. Okay, and this is now, just in a beaker, right? Yeah. Yep, okay. and what I have is actually a 50-50 of glue mm -hmm. and water. And I just used clear glue because it's going to help us with our effect. And then in your beaker, you actually have water and then borax. And borax is just a detergent booster. Mm -hmm. It's an agent. You can find it in the laundry aisles. Um, but what it's going to do is it acts as um, a cross-linker solution. And it is going to cross-link um, my glue that I have here. So oh, you can okay. see it's just kind of drippy and watery. Yeah. And we kind of want to get that polymer reaction working so it's more like a spaghetti and it's going to start to stick together. Oh, so okay. we'll go ahead and pour our together? solutions together. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you, wow, you can already start to see it just goo up really Yeah, fast. you can kind of start to see it gelling mm -hmm. together. Now, if you want to put your hand in there and kind of see what we have created, go okay. ahead and don't be shy. Just pull oh, wow. right yeah, up. You can see it almost, oh, yeah, definitely starting to look like slime. Now, a cool thing that we're going to add into it is these little spheres. Now, these are polyacrylamide, okay. so I'm going to toss them in. You can toss them in. Are these ones that you would find... Um, that people put in the bottom of like vases? Yes, to make absolutely. Them look pretty. Okay. And you can, if you find clear ones, you can just soak them in water. They absorb the colored water. So, oh, okay. whatever so color, any you, color want. you like. Yeah, but then we start getting this really gross, kind of slimy. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, starting to really see it. And yeah. it's starting to look red. It is. And it kind of reminds me of that, you know, that long process of being a kid and your parents used to kind of go through grapes and peel the skins off and make them look like eyeballs. Ooh. This what is kind of much easier. Do you have? I know. <laughs> the coolest, obviously. Obviously, I, I want to live there. <laughs> Halloween all the time. All right. So, second step. Kay. Now, <clears throat> you can actually take what your solution was. Actually, I'm not going to give you that one okay. yet. I'm going to give you this cool one right here, okay? Yeah, that looks so, awesome. you can change the color of slime. You can make it purple, green, orange, really whatever you want to do, but okay. we want to use fluorescein. Now, fluorescein is really neat because it reacts under a UV light, oh, under our black light. Okay. So, what you can find, where you can find fluorescein is actually just in a highlighter. Sure, we see those grocery store anywhere. Exactly. Okay. Pull out it. Put it in there and it just kind of soaks maybe for five minutes. It'll start to absorb that floor. And this is just water that you start with? Yes, it okay. is. It is the same solution. It is actually the water with the borax. So about maybe a tablespoon and a half of borax. Okay. Um, and just kind of soak it in there and it creates this nice yellowish, greenish um, color. But when yeah. it reacts to the black light, Wait, can we see wanna, that? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. You can see it glowing there. So Very a black cool. light has a much higher energy source than the visible light that we see. So okay. that dye kind of absorbs it quickly and escalates it, drops it down, and then remits it as this nice greenish yellowish glow. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and we will pour them together okay. again. I'm ready. And we'll go. Now the cool thing about slime is the more that you kind of manipulate it and play with it, the more gelled it becomes. Oh, okay. So like right now, it's still a little bit soupy, but if I start mixing it up. Yeah. And then as you keep going, and then mine over here, hopefully will have gotten much more solidified. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. I'm gonna move this box so that we can get a better idea. It's also kind of a non-Newtonian fluid. It doesn't really follow the rules of being a solid or a liquid. Yeah, it's definitely kind of gooey. So this would be a really fun one to do, even if you had toddlers, as long as you're supervising. This yeah. would be a cool science project to do on a maybe a cool day, rainy day. Exactly. Wonderful. So a lot of fun, easy recipe. You can go to imaginationstationtoledo.org, look Ooh. up the recipe, prepare it. You know, classroom activity, if you want to be super mom, bring yeah. it into your cl kids' classroom. Very cool. This would even be cool for the trick-or-treaters out there. Maybe put this on your porch or something. Yeah. Very neat. Well, Jamie, thanks so much. This is one of the multiple activities that you guys do down at the Science Center. And big news, you open back up this next week, right? We do. We open on Tuesday, so we're still currently closed. But if you guys want to come out and see us today, we're over at Bowling Green and the NWO um, Oh yeah, the big science thing that's happening down yes, there. Yes, them the in the stem, park. Stem, stem in the, the park. park. Yeah, very cool. And totally that's basically a bunch of little miniature scientists running yes, around, right? Absolutely, it's a lot of fun. It's a really big event. Awesome, very cool. Well, Jamie, thanks so much for coming and helping us make slime. That's this week's Imagine It. Again, they are open starting next week down at One Discovery Way. For now, we're going to send it over to the guys. They have a check of sports.